Hello Internet, welcome back to our tutorial series. In this episode we're going to continue doing vehicle work, but we're going to read while our batteries charge. Unless we have another medium battery. We do. But we're having issues with them getting charged. Let's just let it charge for a while, we'll read our book. We're having issues with our focus, but we did just eat and drink a ton of stuff to raise our mood. Hopefully... That helps circumvent the horrible nomadic penalty that we're experiencing. That's going to be a continued headache, I think, as we play. Last episode, we filled our tank up in our car with some gasoline. And we, ex we found a bug, uh, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and stop. Our character's getting unhappy again. <sighs> it doesn't help that the book is a negative morale as well. You'll see it's minus two fun. What are you going to do? Uh, so let's check our batteries. Charge one battery, and that's it, huh? Okay. I don't know what's going on with this. It's definitely slower than it used to be. Uh, I really don't want to leave the car running when we go to sleep. I also don't want to go to sleep. It's 10 in the morning. I would like to... Oh, you know what? I bet we were deaf. I bet we, were wearing... we weren't wearing our headgear when we went to bed. In the previous episode, did we go? We didn't sleep in the last episode. Whatever. Anyway, let's just turn. No, let's grab a battery. Reload the welder. We'll do some vehicle work and let the car run for a while. We have to put in another over here, another cargo space. Cargo space. And then we will start prying off some of these sheet metals to make stow boards. This is all going to take some time, so it will let us, uh, our batteries continually charge while we're doing this work. So let's go ahead and start ripping off boards. Uh, are we in the vehicle? Yeah, I don't want to stand in the vehicle because we want it to drop. Actually, we want these over here as well, so they're within range while we're trying to do vehicle work. Uh, and we'll start ripping off the boards here. And yeah, I think we're going to replace those heavy boards with regular boards. It'll save us a little bit of weight. Uh, it's not a super big deal. I know that some people really do prefer like, ah, oh, man, I want the heaviest stuff on my vehicle possible. I've never really seen a need for that. Uh, the vehicles are more durable than people give them credit for as it is. So it's not like you're going to, I mean, it's not like it's going to fall off. Uh, and it's pretty rare that you get hit in the mid of your vehicle. It's usually damage up front from ramming things, damage in the back from backing into things or when you turn. It's pretty rare that the middle of my vehicle takes a hit. So let's go ahead and install stow boards. Uh, is there heavy stow boards? There are heavy stow boards. What's the storage? 47 liters as opposed to... <laughs> so the heavy stow board is even less capacity than the regular stow board and it weighs more considerably more uh, about double the weight and the durability is like four times as much again I just don't really see a need for it so we're just going to install regular stow boards and uh, it is what it is we should probably go kill this dog because I'm tired of you wandering around it's pretty close to us as well we might as well we never put a freezer in our vehicle so like if we butcher something for a lot of meat it's just gonna go bad and are the pit bulls, you don't seem hostile, so I don't, the often misunderstood pit bull is not actually a single breed, but a label for several kinds of terriers, has average abilities and is well known for its lockjaw, which isn't real, but their incredible determination is. Yeah, I remember hearing about that, where like if they close their jaws, they, uh, like, they can't open their jaws till they close them completely, kind of like a horse. Um, if you've ever been bitten by a horse, uh, which is, I know, a weird thing probably to most of you city folks, but it happens. Um, if you get by, bit by a horse, they say that the horse can't open its mouth until it's fully closed its jaws. So a lot of times when you get by, bit by a horse, they will take a big chunk out of you. Um, which I don't know if that's actually true, but I've seen some people who got bit by horses and it's real bad. Uh, it's one of the reasons why when you say you give a kid a sugar cube and t you know to feed a horse or whatever, you tell them, about laying their palm flat and tucking their their thumb on the side because if it gets a hold of their thumb, could potentially cut, bite their thumb off, um, get jaw pressure and whatnot. I mean, even even weak animals, jaw pressure is like one of those things that is crazy high in basically every creature. 
So like the amount that you as a human being, your jaws, the pressure you can produce is actually probably way higher than you think it is. We don't have the parts. I, I was going to say we could make a, a freezer, but I don't think we have the parts. Man, it's still not charging. Like it, it I'm not, I don't know where the charge is going. It doesn't look like it's charging our batteries. I thought it was charging something else. And that's why it was slow, but it looks like it's literally not charging anything. I'm going to pick up the disposables and we're going to write down the uncharged numbers. So 246 at the top, 37 and 50. And we're going to check back on this in a little bit and see if it's charging. Because I, I can't tell if it's charging by looking at this. I can't tell what's being charged and what isn't. So we're going to let that run for a while. We're going to verify that the charger is on. It is on. The engine is also running to maintain our battery charge while charging. We can turn off the engine and see if that has an impact. Uh, just wait a few turns. So it's definitely draining our batteries. Every couple seconds, we're losing a percentage here. Um, yeah, so it's definitely charging something. So 246, 37, and 50. So it's not charging any of these batteries. Currently, it's not charging anything. Let's just wait five minutes. Okay. We've lost four or five percent, so you figure probably a couple hundred charge off of that. Uh, 246, 37, and 50. Yeah, this is not recharging our batteries. Let's toggle it. Wait a few turns. 246, 37, 50. It's not charging our batteries. Let's pick everything up. Wield it. Okay, look at our inventory. Everything out of the charger. Okay, drop everything back in the charger. Maybe it just needed refreshed, like uh, uh, everything that's not disposable. Let's get the charged batteries out of there and only deposit our uncharged batteries. Because previously, the charger would charge very quickly. So let's just wait a few turns. It's not charging our batteries. 246. Get that disposable out of there. I dropped the wrong thing. Drop the jackhammer. It's not charging anything. Well, I didn't have it on. Let's try again. 246, 37, 90. Okay, so it's now charging. It may just have needed a refresh, uh, like it had the maybe the container changes affected the recharging station and so it items that were already in it maybe was just struggling to charge it maybe it needed to be redropped so it seems to be working let's drop all of our batteries again onto this tile and wait and see if it recharges it may have been those things that were causing it to not recharge i know it's not fun to watch troubleshooting like this 246 37 and 50 it was like 90 so it is charging our batteries now okay so wasn't sure really what was going on we wasted five ga liters of gas doing that unfortunately but um why don't we see if we can scrounge up the parts for a freezer oh never mind can't make a freezer at the moment uh let's go check our books it's probably just because we're not near our books freezer uh try mini min oh my gosh mini Nope, can't make why our electronics is too low. Electronics is only two. I thought we raised electronics. Okay. Um, we have quite a lot of electronics components. We could probably grind electronics pretty easily. Heating elements, amplifier circuit. Uh, we don't have enough pots to make that viable. Uh, power converters... It's a lot of copper and a lot of power converters and duct tape and yeah, fire starters only skill level one. 
Okay, find some more skill level two items here. Okay, uh, we don't have solder. Uh huh. I mean, we can get solder by disassembling electronics, but not very much. It's the solder that's holding us back here. Solder is, um, you can make solder, uh, if I remember right. No, don't favorite a noise emitter. That means nothing to me. You can make solder, if I recall. Problem is, it's really hard to find tin. Uh, so if we scroll down here. Uh, lead, tin powder, and rosin. Uh, so when I see resin spelled that way, I say rosin. I know it's just, you, you're, apparently you're just supposed to say resin, but I always say rosin. It can be hard to find tin and lead, um, so not super viable for us to make our own solder. If we take apart scrap electronics, so if we go to the tools pile, we should have some cell phones laying around. Uh, if we scroll down if we disassemble this you will get no solder of course not why why would i get solder from a cell phone it's not like they contain solder or anything um solder is one of those things that you can get in very small amounts from certain electronics it's not the best way to do that if i remember right you <sighs> Where do you even get solder? E-ink tablets? What do you got going on? It doesn't say solder. Flashlights? I mean, why would there be solder in a flashlight, really? Handheld game system? Solder 10. Yeah, so we can get small amounts from certain electronics. The only reliable place to find a lot of it is an electronic shop, and we already cleared one, so obviously there wasn't any really there. Surprises me cell phones don't have any solder that you can get. I mean, I would expect, like, not very much, but one or two, you would think, from from this. So the only thing I'm seeing here that has solder that I can think of would be the uh, tablets here. No, was it not the tablets? No, it wasn't the tablets. What was I just looking at that had, uh, had solder in it? No, I don't even remember. So obviously not a lot of it. Oh, it was the game systems. Uh, we don't have a lot of items that could give it to us. I guess the hot plate because it requires it to... No, it doesn't require it to make because we were just looking at the hot plate. Um, so solder is, is often uh, an issue. I was so frustrated by this previously that I started making... Uh, why am I deaf still? We're having this issue again where it says we're wearing earphones when we're not. So let's uh, try activating and deactivating. Still deaf. Let's try dropping the MP3 player. No, we're still deaf. So anytime we put on earbuds, we're deaf for the remainder of <laughs> the session is what it looks like. Uh, so that's exciting. Unless I'm wearing headgear. No, I'm not. So that deafness is continually being an issue as well. Yeah, so solder, um, I was so frustrated by it that I was like, man, there's no tin in the game. I'm going to make my own tin items and add them to the game specifically pewter items because pewter is primarily tin um i'm gonna sneeze so what i was gonna do is add pewter figurines to the game like you would have for D because we have that D D basement and i was gonna make pewter statuettes that would appear in pawn shops and whatnot and then before i could do that uh if we look for is it just tin someone added tin to the game previously there was no such thing as tin you would get um it wasn't a material. It's complicated. Basically, the way certain things are handled, there's are materials in the game. And there was no tin material, but there was like a pewter material, so it made sense to do it that way. That has been changed. Uh, and now, if we look for solder again, it actually doesn't require tin. It requires tin powder. Um, so I have no idea where to get tin powder. Previously, you could take apart tin plates and things to make that. Um, to make items out of, to make solder. But it looks like tin powder is not something we can make. So like I genuinely have absolutely no idea where to get tin powder. I guess we probably saw it in this, the science lab at some point. But like it's infuriating that kind of stuff. Um, when you're looking, when you're, when you're held up by a single item and then you go to look and they're like, man, I want to make this thing. And you find out that no, like you don't even have 
the means to make it, even if you did have the means to make it, you don't know where you get it and like any aspect of the, the materials involved. And it just is one of those things that irks me. We're out of sheet metal. So let's come up here and continue pulling apart this car, I guess. We're tired and we're hungry. It's 3 p.m. We're going to go until nighttime because I'm uh, a little tired of... Stop this. Actually, don't do it this way. Just pull off the quarter panel because why take apart the whole vehicle when you just want the quarter panel? Are there any left? Quarter panel. Take that. Ignore. Silly dog. Tricks are for kids. So you like, I don't know where to get tin powder. I don't know where to get solder. You would think you could harvest small amounts from basically every electronic in a game, but that's apparently not true. I thought you could get it from cell phones, but uh, why did we get two steel plating and sh one sheet metal? Why did I get one sheet metal when I removed two quarter panels? Looks like it gave me steel plating instead of sheet metal. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyway. So I don't know what to do about the solder. Um, I did have a playthrough previously where I got really, really frustrated by that. Because that was like something I spent weeks looking for and could not find in the game. And was like, man, I'm so fed up with this. I'm actually going to go <laughs> contribute to the game because I'm sick of the way it's presented. Um, and then someone did something else and it's like, oh, well, I'm not going to put it, you know, why would I make pewter figurines now when tin is actually a thing? Uh, you don't need to use pewter anymore. I should still, honestly, like, the D&D &D figurines make sense. It's not a lot of tin, but it would be something. But the fact that you need tin powder instead of just tin is also a little irritating. Because why does it need to be powderized tin when I could just use a chunk of tin and melt it down? Like, solder is not... Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, let's eat, drink, and go to bed here. Man, this is another episode where I felt like I've just wasted my time, basically. Hiccup. Eat the bacon. Eat the meat jerky. Get a lot of these calories in us. We should be eating the perishable food, but, like, what am I supposed to do with all this red sauce? I guess we could look. I mean, it's such a low calorie count as well that it's not that big of a deal. No, not red sauce. Deviled kidney. Sounds horrifying. Boring sandwich. No, we're not. So this red sauce, just get it out of here. I don't even want to look at it anymore. It's a three liter glass jar. Is that what is causing this huge list of red sauce? It must be. Let's try dropping it outside. I don't know what to do about these. And, and no, because this is a sealed... It's a sealed jar, so obviously it's not that red sauce that's showing up in our list. So why can't I find red sauce? Filter returns no results. Is it a f liquid? No. So where is all... Okay, drop... Drop the can of red sauce. Come back, try to eat again. Still lists all this red sauce. So where is this coming from? It doesn't say what tile it's on. I like I don't know what to make of that. At all. <laughs> Let's get the rotten food out of here. I don't know what to make of that internet. Everything's borked. What are you going to do? Shut up, robot. I don't want to hear you. Whatever. Let's uh, drink something. Just drink some water. Water. Uh, water. We'll come down. We'll go to bed. Go ahead and throw on the noise canceling headgear. Head downstairs. Go to sleep. Yes. Ah, so let's talk about something that's not a source of frustration. Uh, what's going on with me? Well, I'm still having issues with my brother. Uh, last night, uh, basically, I'm sitting here with my headphones on. It's about 1.30 in the morning, and I hear loud, loud music. And I'm like, man, I can hear this in the back of my house with my headphones on playing a YouTube video. 
somebody's making too much noise. So I'm like sitting there, whatever. And then like I had to use the bathroom. So I went and used the bathroom, you know, and like 15 minutes had passed. And this is still blasting through my neighborhood. And I'm like, you know what? I'm the kind of person that I have a low tolerance for that. I'm going to go out and I'm going to scream at somebody. So I went outside. Well, I was going to go outside. My family member was like, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to go yell at them for their music. And she's like, don't yell at them. You know, it's going to embarrass whatever the family or something like that. And uh, I was like, okay. So I went back upstairs and then she came upstairs and was like huffing and, and was like, I can't sleep. I have to go to work in the morning, blah, blah, etc." And I was like, she was trying to get me to go outside. So like, she didn't want me to yell at them, but she did want me to go outside and confront them. So went outside, go to a car. It's clear where the music is coming from. And, uh, of course it's my brother and some girl and I'm like, okay, well now I can be really mean because it's my brother and I have every right to scream at him for it. So I knock on the window, you know, they, they can't even hear me. So I'm slapping the window. They can't hear me. So I start snapping at the open window and yelling and they finally turn down their music and they're both clearly high, of course, because God forbid they'd be sober for five minutes of their life. And, um, the lady's like, can I help you? And I was like, yeah, it's 1.30 in the morning. This is a neighborhood. There's a sound curfew. You're blasting your music. I can hear in the back of my damn house with my headphones on. Turn off your music or I'm calling the cops. And my brother was like, hey, man. Hey, man, come on. Don't be like... And I just was like, shut up. You know, just shut your mouth. Turn down your music or I'm calling the police. And then I went in the house. And like my heart was pounding because my instinct is to like flip out. And I didn't... Like, that might sound mean, but that was, like, the nicest I could be in that situation. And, uh, yeah, I was like, I'm so tired of it. I am just going to call the police. And I'm not someone who calls the cops, ladies and gentlemen. I'm someone who handles shit on my own. And then they turned down the music. And uh, he came in, like, like I went to work, like, an hour later, half hour later, ten minutes. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. And, uh... He was still out on the porch, and, like, he's fallen over himself. He can't stand up because he's high, uh, and that's what he does. He comes home really high, and then my family members will comment when they see him stumbling up the stairs to go to bed. They'll chew him out, so, like, he doesn't do that anymore. He'll, like, stand outside until he thinks they're asleep or he thinks he can comfortably climb the stairs. Then he goes inside. We can't... I was going to do vehicle work. We can't do vehicle work in the dark. So never mind. Let's put those earbuds in because the music will cancel out the nomad thing all the time. So we'll do that. And then let's just eat and drink some stuff to get happy again. We already had some toast dumps. It looks like the negative morale stacking's not working. Because um, when you eat toast dumps, I believe we ate from this pile. It's supposed to reduce their joy. It doesn't seem to be doing that. Let's go ahead and eat some potato chips. Was it toast dumps? Yeah, we did eat toast dumps. And we'll have one more thing, some sugary cereal, and then we'll throw a swig of beer in us. Pale ale. Um, I think I commented previously about uh, America pale ale being a particular, um, like, meaning it came from America, but it's actually apparently a style of ale. So, like, uh, pale ale is a type of ale. And then I guess there's a difference between, what is it, India and America Pale Ale are the two that I, and yeah, are the two that I see the most. Is that not right? Maybe I'm misremembering. Um, but it's like a type of alcohol. It's not a something necessarily that was made in America. It's more like a style. Kind of like bourbon is supposed to be just from bourbon, you know, is it's just whiskey from bourbon. Um, but I'm pretty sure they make bourbon other places and just call it bourbon because it's a style of whiskey. Um, same with champagne. Champagne only comes from the Champagne region in France, but pretty sure that's not practical. So lots of places make champagne, but they call it champagne because it's a style of alcohol, uh, you know, bubbly wine as opposed to actually, it doesn't matter. None of this matters. Anyway, so some grief with my brother. He did return my clothes as well. I, I mentioned he took my clothes. He just brought them back, and I don't know what that means. I don't know why he would do do any of these things. So it's just perplexing. Um, other than that, we have something going on with my dog. I've been very irritable like the last week or two. 
Um, and you've definitely seen it in like the last week of recordings. I've just been really easily irritable. I, I Something's going on with my dog and it's really upsetting because he's like falling as he goes up the stairs and licking things, which is what he does when he's nervous. And the other night my family member was trying to get him to go downstairs and he was so scared he peed right in the, right in the hallway. And like as he was running away, he was peeing. It's like he, he's obviously terrified of falling down the stairs. And I don't know. He just seems sick. He's not really eating. I'm wondering if he's dying. And it's very upsetting to think about that. So we were going to head off to gather more sheet metal. We should have all the tools in our inventory. Hello, raccoon. You shouldn't be here. So the only place we've seen a freezer that was harvestable was way over by the ball field, I think. And we decided that the it was up here above the ball field next to the gun shop. And we decided that the whole horde that was here was not worth the trouble to get that freezer. But I'm rethinking that now that I'm seeing how bad our electronics is. Obviously, we don't need to craft raise our electronics. I'm pretty sure we have electronics books. But uh, I would prefer to craft raise because it's much faster than reading. We've been doing a lot of reading and reading is real boring content. It's definitely a part of Cataclysm, and it's definitely something you need to do, but I also think, like, people don't like watching you read for, you know, 30 minutes. So I'm worried about my dog. I'm always worried about my dog. I'm just so scared he's going to fall down the stairs, and his quality of life is bad. I keep telling the family, like, we just need to pen him downstairs so he can't come up anymore, because that will solve the problem. Problem is, we have another dog who literally has come up and taken food out of the little... So I'm talking about my wiener dog. And we have another dog that's like a big... Uh, I guess she's like a lab or something, but she's huge. Uh, and she literally has come up to him before and taken food right out of his mouth. And, you know, he snarls and she snarls. And I'm just worried someone's going to... One's going to bite the other. And then we're going to, you know, find the little wiener dog dead one day. And... You know, and I know some people hear stuff about pets and they just are dismissive of it. But like, it is surprise, and it is, it's surprising to me how upsetting it is to think about. Because like, I went to work the other night. He had fallen up the stairs and that was the night when he peed all over the place because he was so scared. Um, and like that whole night I was so upset thinking like this poor animal is suffering, you know, is not having a good quality of life. And I was trying so hard to brainstorm, like, how can we get him up and down the stairs without him getting hurt? How can we, you know, pen him downstairs and make sure that he's safe and comfortable? And, like, all night when I was at work, I that night I think I worked, like, four hours. I usually work, like, three and a half to six hours. It depends on the day. And uh, I only worked, like, maybe four, four and a half hours. And uh, I swear that whole time I was in my car, you know, I've podcasts and audiobooks and stuff but all I could think about that whole night was like what can I do to help my dog what can I do right now you know when I go home tonight what can I do to make it so that he's okay uh and it was just real upsetting did I there are the heavy duty boards I was gonna say did I miss a board here I can see the tiles are different uh and it's just it's weird how upsetting it is like you know, I love our animals, of course, and the wiener dog is my favorite dog, but, like, it's it's weird, because, like, so, so I grew up in the country. I'm a country boy. I've dealt with, again, I've had some interaction with horses, and, and mostly my experiences with dogs, but also I've dated girls who, who were horse girls. And uh, it's like, I believe that some animals should be put down. I know a lot of people get upset over that kind of stuff, but like there's a certain quality of life thing that comes along with having animals. And like, I've, I've seen horses that I saw a horse that broke its leg and they had to come put it down because it was really, really like the animal was screaming and it was in so much pain and horrible. And obviously it's not really something a horse, like obviously if you break your leg, you can, uh, lay in bed for, you know, you, you basically break your foot off. You can lay in bed for the next, you know, four and a half months while you slowly recover. A horse doesn't have that luxury. So a lot of times when there's like a catastrophic injury to a horse's leg, you, you kill it because there's nothing you can do. It's never going to recover 
full functionality. It's always going to suffer. It's going to be in pain, things like that. So it looks like this whole time we've had the charger on. It, uh, it looks like it auto went off because we ran out of battery charge. But it looks like it did not touch... 24, yeah, it did not touch any of these other batteries, but it did fully recharge the batter, the medium battery. So I really don't understand what's going on with the rechargers. They're not working as intended. I feel comfortable saying that. So this is disappointing because we're trying to do a fair bit of vehicle work. So let's reload the welder. And again, let's wait five minutes. The engine's running, so it shouldn't auto off or anything. The charger should be on. 246 and 37 and it's not recharging any of these bet oh no it's not recharging any batteries anymore give me all my batteries back dump the medium battery only and wait no wait five minutes check the battery it's charging the battery okay drop the uh, jackhammer. Wait five minutes. Still charging the medium battery, so we'll check on that in a minute. Let's put this final stow board on. Uh, but basically, so like, I'm someone who believes that there is a time and a place to put an animal down, and a lot of times that makes people think you're insensitive. Um, and so for most of my life, yeah, I've been a little callous towards that. So I love my animals, but I do believe that there's a time to put animals down. And I believe that there's always something. You should be concerned about their quality of life. You should not. It's not charging to freaking UPS. So maybe the UPS is just broken. No, because it's definitely also not charging our batteries when we want it to. So I really don't know what's going on. Go ahead and drop all the batteries. The jackhammer's not recharging, so I guess we can't uh, jackhammer. And it turned off the charger. Why is it turning? Did I turn off the charger? Maybe I did. Turn off the engine. I don't know what's going on with this. It's annoying. And we're deaf still for some reason. And by the way, our tires are like right here and right here. So this vehicle at this point, kind of not in optimal position. Uh, let's look at, we still have enough wheels. We're still drivable, uh, but obviously we should relocate our wheels from here to like here. Um, apparently it's not a big deal, it's still drivable. It is just kind of funny that these last four tiles are just sort of hanging off the back of the vehicle though. Uh, we should probably do something about that. But I think uh, removing axles and installing new axles is actually like a pretty high mechanic skill, which we don't have. We have mechanics four. We've really neglected our skills in this playthrough. Normally by now I have much higher skills. It's because we were doing tutorial stuff and I was trying really hard to talk about tutorial stuff instead of giving commentary. It's a lot easier to read when I'm giving commentary because then I can just talk about whatever I want to talk about. When it's a tutorial, I'm trying to avoid reading and boring stuff and trying to illustrate what I'm doing. Uh, so we have neglected our skills quite a lot. Um, fab is usually right around this point. By now, I'm usually at 7, maybe 8 at the most. Um, my tailoring is usually higher than this by now. Survival at 3 is reasonable. My electronics is usually 6 or 7 by now. Computers I usually neglect. First aid is about where it normally would be. Um, the lock picking skill is new, by the way. I don't think we covered that in this series. We talked about it in an experimental cataclysm video. Everything else is more or less uh, where we want it, but electronics is a very key skill that we should have raised a long time ago, and I thought we did raise, but apparently not. Anyway, we're over time, and uh, I think my niece is going to be coming upstairs. So this is probably it for me for today. Uh, we've definitely been encountering some issues here, uh, between the cans and the, the auto filling containers and things, uh, the tanks and whatnot is a little bit concerning, but the recharger is the main thing is a little bit worrisome. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with the rechargers. Anyway, for now, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I'll be back with more in the near future and I'll see you next time.